Cool. All right, Coach. Obviously, it's uh, you want the regulation win, obviously, but you still get the extra point there in the in, in the shootout. But what did you like from your team today? What what, uh, what what encouraged you moving forward? I mean, I think early on, I think Chris, looking at the data real quick, we created 21 chances, a 21 shots. So that's a lot, right? That's something that we're not necessarily the best at. So good on that. Good scoring early. We were aggressive early. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of, you know, and, we, and, you know, at the end of the day, we don't lose. We didn't lose. We didn't lose. You know, it's good. That's really important in, in this league, as you can see, the format, right? <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask about that. I think that's pretty cool that they are able to get the extra point with that yeah. shootout. Uh, is that, is, it feels like it's unique to other leagues, and I think it's, I think it could be beneficial for a number of ways. One, so you're able to pick up an extra point competition-wise with, as you get closer to playoff time, but also I feel like it might prepare you for the postseason because how many times do you play a whole season without, you know, you can only simulate the, the shootout in practice, yeah. which, you know, when you actually have a chance to do it. I, do you think it's beneficial and do you like, you know, getting a chance to gain an extra point in a shootout like that after a draw? I only like it when we, when we get the extra point. <laughs> so, but in, in terms of, like, the functionality of it, you know, you're, you've got developmental players, you've got second team players, that these are all the elements they're trying to create to put players, young players, or guys like some of our guys who have a chance to make a jump to a higher level in those pressure moments. So when they really come, so they're used to those pressure moments. So I think in terms of what their philosophy and idea behind for it is good. And obviously, you know, you get that early goal there in the third minute, I think it is. And, uh, and Hayes and I were talking, it seems to be like a trend this year, you're scoring early. Do you, do you find that the team, you know, knows how to play with the lead? And do you find it almost difficult sometimes playing with that lead? You know, because you still want to probably stay aggressive, but you also, you know, you, you want to make sure you, you, you protect said lead. Is it difficult playing, you know, scoring so early and then, you know, kind of staying aggressive throughout the match with a lead like that as, you, as the time dwindles down? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're, I mean, we're still a new team coming together. We're still meshing it all together. We're, we're still putting it all together. I think as we continue to grow, I think we'll understand that better. Because for me, it's like, how do you get like the next and the next and just be relentless and just be brutal? That's where we want to be. And this, uh, you guys have a big road swing coming up here right yeah. now. So uh, what sort of, I guess, uh, what sort of the, the mentality there, right? I mean, you get a lot of games at home here recently, but now, you know, the road can bring teams together. You had a kind of little bit of a taste of it, but I imagine not, not like a true road trip like this, a first true road trip. Are you, are you looking forward to kind of getting out of town and maybe uh, and, and seeing how you, you, your, your play manages, I guess, uh, on the road? Yeah, I think it's, it's, an, it's an important time for us um, to get these, you know, do some bonding, do some, some different things, and, you know, going on the road, right? We, we go down to Miami, and then we go up to Crown, you know, Crown was very good last year. I think they won the regular season last year, uh, or, or at least second. And then Miami's got, you know, it's, it's different when you go on the road because if the team's at home, first team's at home, or guys get left behind, you could have some first teamers that are playing in the game. So the games are, are really difficult. And uh, Betty, you know, getting back on the, the score sheet early, um, what, what can you say just about his overall, overall game and what he's bringing to the team so far this season? Yeah, I mean, he's he's the player that I thought he would be. We just got to get him. We have to learn him more. And learning a striker and learning that takes a little bit of time. So um, he's nice to get a, goal, get a goal today. Hopefully that really elevates him. I think he's got two goals now and maybe two or three assists. So all things considered, I mean, we don't, we don't think he's up near the level that he needs to be yet, but where he wants to be. So I think we'll just keep moving forward with him. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the game felt a little more transitional in nature than maybe I was sort of anticipating. And if you don't agree, maybe, you know, what, how did you see the game tactically kind of playing out? Yeah, it was, right, because they stacked a lot of players high. They put a lot of players high. And so for us, you know, we'll, we'll keep the ball in the back some, and then we try to move forward. But there's just too much pressure, so we tried to do some things to get us attacking-wise. And then we had a lot of turnovers, and that, was, that's, that created the transitions. We had a lot of turnovers. Uh, and then in the second half, we were kind of putting them under pressure a bit. They were playing for the counter, so it wasn't like passing. They were trying to get forward quick. So. And lastly, you know, Ben mentioned it as well, just this road trip coming up. But 
you know, what what do you want to see from the team most in these, out of these next two games on the road? What are you kind of? I just want to see our identity grow more, and I want to see our our ruthlessness grow more, and just really like really take control and just dominate and be dominant and just be like, yeah, this, you know, we're here and we dare you to come and play. And that's, that's what we're trying to get to. Sometimes those so, so shots just not go in. It's like we got a bunch of shots. Yeah, I mean, if you talk to the data guy over there in the other locker room, Chris, he'll say it evens out. You know, it evens out like the, you know, maybe we're overachieving. That's his, his phrase, you're overachieving. And then it, it, it drops down. So maybe, you know, because against Miami, I think we only had, we had six shots on target. We scored all six. So, you know, so the law of averages, but for me, the law of averages is not good enough. You expect to score them all. <laughs>